Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am here with my new QBasic programming video and today I am going to discuss about the array in the QBasic programming. And uh, array is the most important uh, data type in the QBasic programming or maybe in the all the programming language and uh, yeah, array is the most powerful uh, point or element in the programming where every programming are using the array to explore the data in the programming so what is array i'm going to discuss about it here and uh, in the uh, in the q basic programming also the array is the most important uh, uh, element so uh, i'm going to talk about the array and what is array we need to understand so the first question i'm going to make here what is array and in the second question I'm going to make it uh, why array is the most important important in the programming and for the uh, why I'm going to uh, talk about the uh, array in the QBC programming is in the next program I'm going to uh, yeah I'm going to talk about the error based programming okay. so first we need to understand what is array and then after that why array is the most important in the programming and then why I'm going to talk about it because it is I'm going to use the uh, array based programming statement in the next program so before that before starting that program I need to know uh, make clarification about the array in the programming so array is the what is array and uh, uh, how can we use in the programming i'm going to show you here so in the programming i, I need uh, we, we know that i need to use this uh, cls and int here i'm going to use uh, array based programming structure and the array is the group of the data which have a similar or similar nature in the pro uh, nature in the data structure it means uh, for example, I'm, if I need to uh, display the name of the three person, I need to use three times uh, in command and three times a data. So, the, for example, print name is and then print. Uh, um, Jessica and then the print Victoria Victoria and then now uh, you can see here I am is I'm using the four times print command and four times data in the programming so it is taking a uh, lots of time and also it is a uh, uh, you uh, using or uh, taking my time to write here and then also it is a very uh, long time uh, long time taking uh, method or steps but you can see here the output and uh, what i'm going to uh, talk about and what i'm going to discuss about it the data is the same pattern and all the uh, data are name of the person and uh, all the data are displayed in the uh, similar uh, same structure and uh, same pattern it means all the data is printed in the name is data name is data name is data and the name is data so all the data are the name of the person so these all are the name of the person and in the programming if we are using same data in the programming we can uh, compress them into the array and making them into the group and that group can be used as an array structure data and where we can use them using the array and that saves our time that uh, uh, reduce the uh, reduce the uh, uh, expense uh, uh, that time what we are uh, we are using to write there and uh, write them and also we are using our extra time and that all extra time can be re reduced by using the array structure and he, all this data can be used by uh, sorry data can be displayed or can be executed using the array in a certain time so all the data especially all the data 
which have a similar nature or similar structure can be grouped in the programming or that can be executed in the form of array structure so array is the similar nature uh, the array is the group of similar data and uh, similar nature data especially we can uh, uh, talk like that uh, we can define like that so now how can we write the uh, array based data structure and how can i print all of them using a single command now i'm going to show you before that i need to remove it and now i'm going to show you a single data and uh, single data is like a print uh, no before it i'm going to use here um, data string okay i'm going to use a uh, uh, use data and I, in the string data i'm going to use uh, indexing and uh, here i'm going to use a uh, name ram ram here i'm going to print it and uh, that uh, data is not a valid uh, that is invalid because the data is uh, predefined old uh, keyword from the QBasic. so i'm going to use like this and then i'm going to use uh, uh, to print uh, okay like this data and uh, i'm going to print the uh, data in the zero index and then i'm now i'm going to print so what is happening here is uh, missing here and uh, now yes like this i'm going to print here now we can see the output here you can see the ram and it's same like that before it i used to write the programming or write the print command using the print name is like that blah 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 so that is out that output also similar uh, look like that and this and also i'm going to make same the data output here and uh, the data output is like this name name and uh, using the same colon the same single line uh, data output will be printed and then the output will be same like this previously what we have done in the uh, in this video so name is ram now this is the single data and uh, uh, the multiple data can be used and uh, uh, i already talked uh, uh, discussed about that uh, the array structure data can be used for display multiple data and that uh, reduce our extra time and uh, that uh, uh, totally um, uh, totally useful to the uh, useful in the programming and if you are using that then that will also help us to uh, complete our programming solution in the short in time and uh, i am i'm using the data in the zero index and uh, i'm going to talk about it here uh, data is uh, data is a string variable and inside that uh, inside bracket you can see zero and the program in the programming basically the indexing start with the zero and that this is a uh, zero and a zero index and then the value in the data data zero index and zero index is ram and similarly we can use a zero one two three similarly and then now the most important or inside the QBasic uh, array structure or maybe in the uh, array in the programming there are two types of uh, um, array, array in the programming one is uh, indexed and uh, another one is associated array associated uh, array structure means uh, they have a key basically key name where the name can be uh, defined or name can be used and most of the time the people use uh, uh, both of them and uh, index method is uh, the value can be stored in the uh, uh, numerical value from the zero to uh, plus plus value and then that can be uh, uh, uncountable maybe the uh, data can be more than thousand and one thousand millions of data and that can be counted by using the uh, index uh, method and sometime we need to use uh, we need to use uh, that kinds of data where we need to you know, define as a associative array and, the, and then that time we knew we can use a associative array but i'm uh, going to discuss about only about the indexed array and uh, what i'm using a zero index is indexed array and data in the second string uh, second value i'm going to use one here and then write i'm going to write here uh, like a, a ram and then sam and then i'm going to print here again uh, print image means data is one index now i'm going to print and then the similar output will be displayed here 
and uh, what will output uh, uh, display here in the screen on the screen here you can see and previously i used to display the output in the uh, programming uh, in this video that was four data were displayed here and then same like this data were displayed but not similarly i'm using the print command multiple times and all the uh, data can be data i'm using here multiple times and then also the data are printing here in the same pattern but the programming code are written statically statically means or uh, statically means there is a no dynamic data is coming here as also i am using the static data printing method which is not a good for uh, multiple data using if uh, uh, if we are using only two or three data maybe the 10 data will be the good but what about uh, maybe we are using the 1000 data or maybe the 1 million or 100000 data then that time what will happen this is the very very much uh, incorrect method uh, you can use but uh, if you are using uh, to write the all the data each and every line then that is not a good practice so we need to use something different so after that in the zero index it can store ram and then in the one index it can store sam but i'm using print command for both or multiple times and if i need to store multiple data and that data is not defined already so that time there will be the problem now i'm going to discuss about the uh, dynamic array and uh, maybe the data can be anything else in the array structure and how can i print all of them using the dynamic array structure and do in a single line or maybe in the single structure i can use multiple data and then that will be the totally different that uh, different than the uh, static method which can be the good for uh, good practice in the programming so now i'm going to use uh, uh, something different okay now i'm going to also uh, take data from the user so for that while uh, i need to use the data from the user i need to use the input command and then enter data enter and then I'm going to use uh, uh, something variable like uh, mm, what is what can be <laughs> so okay data data string and uh, data uh, string I'm going to use here one zero index and then I'm going to use here a print command and print here okay sorry bro the name is uh, data data zero index nothing different just i'm going to show you a single line and how can i make how can i make it a dynamic and multiple uh, data storing variable here now it is uh, it is it's asking about the inter name and then i'm going to use here name is ram ram just it is printing the, the name is ram and the output is output is coming here properly so after that what i need to do is now i need to store multiple data multiple data store in the qbasic programming using the array structure is very easy and very um super fasting method so now i'm going to use something like uh, maybe 10 data okay 10 data i'm going to store here and so that's why uh, after uh, considering about the data, uh, length of the data then i need to use looping and uh, the most uh, mostly i would like to use a for loop in the pro, uh, qbasic uh, i equals to 1 to 10 then and next next i and then i'm going to use here next uh, inside it uh, input uh, okay input uh, enter name enter name and then i'm going to use the uh, store that uh, all the all the name in the pro uh, in the input and that user enter in the uh, index and then that uh, data and then uh, i and uh, uh, here something different okay uh, you need to understand that every time if i write one two and three then what will happen i need to write the same like that previously what i was doing but in here after using the looping and dynamic data store uh, storage then what i can use is the data can be stored in the multiple times uh, inside the different uh, storage so i have already defined for loop here i so now that i i can use here the value will be stored in the i now i'm going to print here uh, print the name the name is uh, okay data is not like this data is string i 
and then here I'm going to use yes also because uh, I'm sorry string also because uh, it is a st string data now I'm going to use uh, but I'm not going to use uh, 10 times so I'm just I'm going to use four times uh, because it will be helpful uh, to complete the structure in a uh, certainly now enter the name name is Ram and uh, uh, the name is Ram and they are again asking it uh, the name uh, okay next I'm going to use Sam then Jessica and then Melissa okay Melissa these data are printing nicely now I'm going to uh, use uh, uh, only print the data after the uh, loop in for i equals to again uh, g, uh, 1 to four and then next uh, next i just i'm using the loop and i'm just separately going to print the output here and then the name is uh, data uh, i uh, i variable data and now i'm going to Uh, something like the, this so here the name is first is ram it will not print it right now okay so it is printing so what is happening here okay i am using same data sorry same variable for that purpose so i, I am going to just change the j uh, sorry not j j and uh, also j and then also here is a J. So now I'm going to print here. Output is RAM. Uh, sorry, input is RAM. Again, it is printing. What is happening here? Mm. Okay, that's fine. I'm already using this method, so that's yeah, so why it is not working properly so now i'm going to print it, print it ram and then sam and jessica and melissa now oh, oh nice oh the output is printing here and then just what you uh, we can see here is just i use uh, only one print command and uh, output is printing properly in the uh, multiple time, uh, multiple times but uh, our all data are printing here the first uh, we can see the ram and then in the second sam jessica similarly in the next uh, melissa and then uh, in the output also we can see here ram sam or jessica and melissa here so like this we can use array structure and array stored data in the form <coughs> of indexing here so in this method So in this method we can use uh, array in the QBasic programming and we can store data or uh, make output of the data in the QBasic programming. I think you may not understand because I am using very fast uh, in the in this video. If you have any question relating to the array in the QBasic programming then you can ask me the question but I think it is a little helpful for you and uh, thank you for watching and keep supporting keep loving and uh, if you have any question then ask me i'll try to make a video for you in the next video i'm going to you know, make a video for uh, find out the uh, uh, greatest uh, uh, lengthy string uh, uh, sorry word in the 10 word and that will be obviously maybe good for you or uh, some useful for you thank you so much